Hey guys, welcome back. So this is such an exciting time in the year. My cherries are ready to harvest. And the sad, sad part is I'm only here for two days of this very brief harvest season. I'm leaving Thursday. I'm gonna be in Florida till July 4th and then we're going straight to the cabin when I get back. So I've gotta make the most of these two days. Cherries are already falling on the ground. It's time to get them. Unfortunately, this cherry tree is really, really big and there's not, I only have like a regular, I don't know, six foot, seven foot ladder to get on. But we're gonna see if we can try something else today to get even more cherries. So one of the very first tips I learned, this is the very first time I've ever owned a cherry tree. It was here on the property when we moved in, is pick your cherries with the stem on. Um, if you pick them without the stem off, they don't last near as long. Look at this. Hold on. How do I do this? Can you guys see? Can you see all those cherries? Amazing. Oh, I can never ever get them all. Okay, well, real quick, let me show you what I ended up with. Ooh, probably, I don't know, a third of a bushel. And the unfortunate thing is the entire top of this tree is loaded and I can never get them. I'm gonna see if tomorrow Todd will let me be a little dangerous and get up on the bucket truck um, or the bucket of the tractor and see if I can get higher and get some more. But otherwise, there's still a ton on the bottom that are still yet to ripe. The only thing is, is I only have one more day to harvest. So, oh, another thing. This. Another thing is this big, huge tree back here goes way up high. Hold on, let me tip you back. That is a mulberry bush. And we learned that way back when farmers would plant their mulberry mulberry bushes near their orchards, near their gardens, and it really works. The reason being, birds will go to the mulberry bush because they love those. Before they ever touch my cherries, birds never bother my garden because I've got mulberry bushes all around this property. So it's such a huge um, thing that if you have the opportunity to grow mulberry bushes, do it because it's going to save you a lot of headache fighting birds. So I'm gonna go inside, process these, and uh, we'll see if we don't make a cherry pie later. Talk to you guys later. Bye.